gang. What's up, gang? Yeah. Yeah, we already know about the ops. We already know. Yeah, shoot them purple highs in that chat, Jack. And yeah, y'all, and y'all make some noise so everybody can get in here. Yeah, tell the pay y'all unit, yeah, let make some motherfucking noise, Jack. Cause I'm sick of this shit. All this mind game and shit. You see one time out. I got to uh, you know, time out. I got to whip them suckers again with that payout stick. Cause check this out, gang. Uh uh. <clears throat> Y'all get everybody in the room. I had to take a little hit of these payout trees, you know what I'm talking about? And this shit here kind of got me like, yeah, hold on, Trey Gang, because goddamn it, calm your ass down, because you finna shoot out, I show ear. Because you know that King Rob sucker, he a buster. See what I'm talking about? Now look, because nigga system identified the drug to pyramate. In her system. But nobody don't know how it got in there. Who would be on a drug at a party that would be on to permate? All right. Check this out, y'all. We finna talk about the drug to permate. We seen T.Y. live and Irene live. After everybody in the party we seen coming in the hotel that's affiliated with the crowd, who will be the one that prescribed to permate? That's a drug addiction problem with cocaine, alcohol, and drug abuse. Epilepsy and seizures. Drop the name in the chat. If you want to know how we got in there, you need to see who on prescription drugs at a fucking party. And y'all be like, damn, Trey guy, you sure be talking about them nigga be eating they barn and rubbles. Drop the name in the chat. I want, I want, I want everybody. You know what I'm talking about? It's 85, 46, like, I need everybody. Oh, look at this shit. King Rob. King Rob. King fucking Rob. This nigga is the only motherfucker at the party with kidney infection, liver diseases, John Gotti's in the eyes, and yellow of the fucking skin. And then this nigga is a blowhead. A drug addicted fiend. Cause you know, uh, when you go to that doctor's office and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because you probably passed out one night or went and having a seizure. Maybe you got a problem with seizures. Because down there, all your mug shot, nigga, your corner, your mouth, goddamn it, be white in the motherfucker. Like you foam, man. See what I'm saying, y'all? So that sucker went to the doctor, right? That's when they told that nigga, yeah, you got uh A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then you then you a blowhead. I don't know one of you can't uh having seizures and shit and can't sleep and have a nightmare. So let's get you the drug to permate. So you can detox a battle. To permate 
It's a detoxing drug. When you detox, you gonna have niggas having seizures, migraines. You see what I'm saying? Do your research. But the news media and Dr. Oz says, yeah, this is treated for uh epilepsy and migraine. But they ain't tell you what it all prescribed for. Cause if you if you heavy on the dope now, you know, and you got a problem and shit, you know what I'm talking about? You on opioid, oxycodin, you know what I'm talking about. So who will be at the party? Check this out. This drug prevents you from having seizures. So who would be at a party doing drugs and popping a prescription drug at the same time? Making sure he don't have a seizure. Pie, y'all. Now look, when you go back to the police report, Andrew Holmes said if she has something in her sister that don't belong in there, the focus go back to the room, right? So who the only old motherfucker in there about to kick the bucket? King fucking Rob. Payow! They never told y'all how it was ingested, how she took it. You see what I'm saying? But check this out. Who got big money? Who got who money long enough that can pay a motherfucker probably like man, probably about 10, 20 to 50,000 to a motherfucker be like, yeah, uh, yeah, police rose money. I give you about 50,000, man, cover my ass. Y'all know King Rod got that kind of money. He ain't no broke-ass nigga, Jack. He ain't no broke-ass nigga. I seen what that nigga was flashing. Yeah, that boy money long. Yeah, that money long, Jack. But he got he got the police on payroll. Well, the police got him on the payroll. Because he a crook. And they need him to keep doing what he's doing so he can pay his fees off. See, y'all got to think what's going on. He the only somebody that would be prescribed to permit at a party. And when you hear Kanika Jenkins, you know what I'm saying, spitting out this shit, talking about what is this? And then we already seen King Rob always say they putting Bill Cosby in, 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 in female drinks. Criminating evidence. So you mean to tell me if King Rob was at the hotel since he know David Pena, right? Since he know David Pena and David Pena money long. And you didn't think at one point in time Man, look, erase me off that footage. I got you 50 stacks right now. I swear to God. <coughs> Easy money. Everybody that was at that party, I got you five bands apiece. Or whatever the stacks would. Y'all see what I'm saying? And look at the boss trying to go in on the Kanika Jenkins case. Because this way y'all got him at. <coughs> to permate. We don't need to see the reports. Shit, we see it all in your eyes. We all see it in that old yellow ass skin. This nigga sick in the motherfucker. 
Hi, y'all. That's why he could show his face. He would have been show his face a long time ago. He would have been did that. That's what a boss will do. Right? He just don't want to see y'all how sick he is now. Because he don't look like the same King Rob. He don't look the same. Man, that man could be in the four stages of death. You know what I'm talking about. His face done, you know, caving in a little bit. You know, that council eating their skin. You see what I'm talking about? But to make a long story short, when it come to the drug to permate, this where it came from. I ain't lying. That's why I said y'all do y'all research, see what's going on. And check this out. Epilepsy, look, and to permate treat bipolar. Who we all know that's bipolar on YouTube? Drop it in my chat. Who be acting bipolar? One minute you the boss, and the next minute, God damn it, you, your pain run deep. So now y'all can see why everybody going after King Rob. That's the biggest secret. I'm going to tell y'all T. Knight. That nigga ain't got no counsel. He got the bad case of mops in his motherfucking face. Y'all see how fat his face was? Oh, he needs some Avalon lotion and some good skin cream and they'll knock the swelling down. Yeah. But to make a long story short, y'all, whoever this lady is, no King Rob. She no King Rob even before the Kanika Jenkins case. All her content is on King Rob ad. Cause check this out. If you got a nigga at a party, big money, you know what I'm saying? He the main, he the main at the party. You know, and, 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 and he there with a group of teens. So that means he must have planned it like that. What do y'all think? Cause last time I checked, big boys don't go to little kids party. I said big boys don't go to little kids party, Jack. Him. And look y'all, this the same video. Watch this, y'all. She showed this two years ago. I already knew who King Rod was, but nobody didn't mysteriously know who he was. Some people knew, but I knew. He got a history for cocaine possession. 
Drew, Todd, Drew, Todd. So if you a nigga with money, drug is nothing to you. You done built the habit up, didn't even know you had a habit until you got locked up. Got to do blood work. Find out that you're sick. You find out that you're sick, now you go get a checkup. They listen to the doctor tell you the bad news. So the doctor give you the bad news. He ain't do you do drugs? No, I don't do no drugs. Well, in the blood work, it shows you got a high trace of cocaine and opiates and out the college all in your system. Man, it's looking bad. Your liver is in the fourth stages. That's why you can't sleep at night. That's why you have certain weight losses. You, is you bipolar? You mentally ill too. You see what I'm saying? As a detective, you supposed to put all this shit together. Shout out to her. Now y'all see the difference in the picture? Look how he look now, and look how he looking then. Do I need to show y'all the picture what his last recently mug shot look like? But look, this picture ain't too long ago. That's how the council tear his ass up. Man, that nigga need to eat his all his vegetables. For real? And then she was exposed in straight drop. All this go back to King Rob and straight drop. Chosen King. Remember you had Chosen Queen. Man, they knew where that drug come from. They knew who was the master man behind this whole fucking party. I want y'all to read that. Because when they go back to Zach TV murder. And remember what Scray Dry said about T Streets. Read it, y'all. 
Zach TV cousin was driving the car when them niggas murdered my cousin. T, uh, Street Davis. Hold on. And they helped them dump his body, y'all, like, y'all share this. Let's get this goofy blogger the name of Scrape Drop, who ain't never stepped foot inside uh, Chicago. Hold on, y'all. Get him up. Hold on. Look, he's telling y'all some shit he knew deep down wasn't true. Now this YouTuber delete his video because he didn't want to be responsible for his death. And look. Scray Drop was making video and was telling everybody that T Streets had him killed. Y'all don't remember that? Why you think King Rod got to talk about Zach and shit? Why you think? Check this out. Why you think T Knight and 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 and, and King AK forty seven released that video? Payao. <laughs> Remember, Zach TV had a friend named T Streets, right? If you all remember, T Streets um, was like this white iron man. But immediately after Zach was killed, he, I don't know if this is just. Y'all remember when. Straight drop, straight drop was telling everybody T Street at the police station snitching. Y'all remember that? When straight drop making a V T Street snitching. And this man, hold up. Finna get deep in this shit. Now watch this. Before this girl gets started, this how I broke down the police reports. Cause don't y'all know when Franz K said it was three girls when Kanika came up missing, it was three girls in the hallway. Let me read the chat on this. Do y'all remember? In the police report, when Franz K said, when he went upstairs at two something, he seen it was three girls in the hallway and said they was looking for their friend Kanika. And keep this in mind, that third girl is not Bree Bree. Because remember, Bree Bree gone. Right? And I show y'all in the paperwork what's her name is and what was her case number filed at because it's 247099. Watch this, y'all. Video right here is the girl that was laying on the bed in the Crown Plaza. She also was one of the girls that walked down to the end of the hallway when Monifa and Shamaya turned around. And she stepped back like she was so shocked. When Monifa and Shamaya turned around. Is it making sense now? Y'all look who the girl is. I'm going to show y'all who the girl is. There was one that was Tanasia. We are talking about uh, that, that uh, gyro shit in her dead tonight. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to show y'all who the girl is. She going to show y'all her too. Or whatever. Guys are going to remember her. This is 
Monique. She's related to one of the guys that were at the party. That's the girl came out with the bob. Y'all remember Tanasia walked out the bathroom and there was her behind her. When Tanasia came out, I'm going to get into that girl over there. And then she walking behind Tanasia. That's her. That's the third girl that was in the hallway. And guess what? When Monifa, when, when Kanika took the drink, she was standing right next to Kanika. So how would this person know brown eyes be like, well, damn, this the third girl in the hallway. September 17th. That's what I'm saying. She look like a dude, right? Cause she got that uh, you know, that they wrap on her head and all live. I'm finna show you who she is. Look, I showed y'all in the police report her last name Davis. Her last name Davis. I'm finna show y'all who. Let me go on to this shit right quick. But I want y'all to listen closely to what she said about this girl. This video right here is the girl that was laying on the bed in the Crown Plaza. She also was one of the girls that walked down to the end of the hallway when Monifa and Shab Down to the end of the hallway. So who friends came bumped into the three girls? Payow! Payow! Look, y'all. Maya turned around and she stepped back like she was so shocked or whatever. Guys are going to remember. So when she said they went down to the end of the hallway, but she stopped like, oh my God, type shit. So she just described like damn some went on in the hallway, just like the night folk camera said in the in the court paper said that you come on. Is it making sense now, y'all? Is it making sense? So now we identified the third girl, right? And we know to what Tenacious was talking to her about in TY Live. Mm -hmm. This is Monique. She's related to one of the guys that were at the party. This is on September 17th. Oh my God. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, what I need to go to? This is with her with the long hair, y'all. That girl, she did it. I'm not down on my right. 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 I'
Now, why is this? And there she go. Pie y'all. And this was the girl. It didn't look. Watch this. Check this out, y'all. This her. And she's standing right there. Man, Trey ain't making too much sense now. And I'm finna show y'all how they edit T.Y. live. Look, y'all. This live is out of sync, right? <laughs> Then you heard King Rob laughing. King Rob there. Now where did Tapura May come from? The happy the happy ringtone is the op song, and you got a nigga in that motherfucker. They don't listen to that type of music, cause it's op music to him. Sleepy T, Sleepy T. Sleepy T. Now she on the bed. So look, she was just standing by Kanika. Now she all of a sudden sitting on the bed. Man, I swear, man, I'm busting these suckers up. That's why I'm a threat to these suckers, Jack. They pre-recorded this shit. Look how this shit going. I can put T.Y. Live in the same, you know what I'm I know what exactly they did. Cause check this out. What? We need a conviction right here. She said that gyro shit dead in here tonight. Murder, Jack. Confession all day long when you figure this shit out. See there, y'all? Look how hard I got the work. Just I, I'm showing y'all proof of this shit. I'm showing y'all proof. And T.Y. sitting next to King Rob. And he looked just like King Rob. What's the difference? Look. Watch this. What's the difference? 
Y'all, we got Jacob McCray in the building. <laughs> Payow! <laughs> Look at that! Notice he ain't turn the camera all the way to the door to show you there with Kanika at the door. Notice he didn't show you the view of Kanika supposed to be at the door at this point of time. But guess what I showed you on the other last Snapchat when the girl supposed to be sitting behind Irene and showing Kanika wasn't even in the room. See what I'm saying now? Look. They look alike. So it makes sense that if King Rob voice could be heard on TY Live through a party with other motherfuckers in the background, he sent next to him. That's why he tried to convince everybody with like they framed my voice in the live. He trying to tell everybody they done framed his voice in this live. Watch this, y'all. Look where he finna go to. Look, y'all see they rapping to the song, right? Everybody rapping to the song. Watch how everybody, watch how the whole background change. So they just stop rapping like that. They switch the camera like that and everybody on y'all see what I'm saying that's the part that's edited and when you go back to the girl with the snapchat video that's why they didn't show Kanika in the room on her video and that was at 224 but the news footage show y'all she was on the lower level at at, at 224, getting off on the elevators. Is this shit making sense, y'all? And watch this. Now, why when he flipped the camera? Y'all see how that is? Now listen, 
Now check this out. Listen what they finna say in the background. Who in there raping her? Now look, cause I always wanted to know if Kanika standing right there and we heard Moniva saying, put her ass in the freezer. And Kanika just sitting right there hearing this shit. That's probably when they had another motherfucker that played Kanika. That's why everybody kept saying, why she kept covering up her face? She didn't want her mama to know that she was at the party. Because remember, she supposed to be at the bowling lane in the beginning. Then the, it switched to the bowling lane to the movies. See what I'm saying? If you were J for K all the way, you should know these things. This shit real simple now. Y'all see that? Look how the girl acting. Why she holding her head like something wrong? Freezer. So, if we heard that, that mean Kanika would have heard that shit. And she would have been like, what y'all mean? Hey, no, y'all bitches got me fucked up. You know what I'm talking about? None of that. Then look how the girl finna just stand there and listen to this shit. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, thumb me up, Jack. You can even tell how he looking. That's a setup all the way. From friends to family members. All was her cousin. That explain why in the beginning, Monifa didn't want to tell Miss Teresa who was all at the party. She didn't even mention that her own family was there. So it would be impossible Miss Teresa got something to do with this shit. But these same YouTuber get y'all off that type shit. But now let's show Zach uh stabbing Kanika in the neck. He was all uh having sex with Kanika when she was 12 years old. How you know when Kanika was first having sex? Her own sister said she only had two boys. Boyfriends at her own life. So who y'all gonna believe a YouTuber or a family member? See what I'm saying? <laughs> so look, now we gotta talk about macho. Cause you know one thing, only employee that King Rock ever mentioned was David Pena. David Pena 
and the security guard that worked for Rosemont. Payow! Y'all, this shit way deeper. That's why you had to have people dressing like at the party. So when they get the editing, the footage, you see what I'm, when they get the edit of that footage, you know what I'm saying? You can say, well, it could be this person or it could be that person. You see what I'm saying? Everybody was dressing like. If you separated everybody from the party from their outfit, you're going to have the same, but you're going to have your jean jacket over here, your jean jacket session over here. See what I'm saying? Because you're dealing with camera footage. That's why King Rod got to go so hard, y'all. Look at his content. He, he don't know what else to do. He need y'all support him on this shit. He need y'all help to keep that dumb ass narrative going. Did y'all see how many people they had on the same clothes at the party? I'm just saying, y'all better open y'all eyes up. Thumb me up, Jack. Show me some love. This real research. I ain't got to show you no shadow means and shit, just a uh, you know what I'm talking about. I ain't got to lie to nobody, Jack. The true can, the, look, the true can whip these suckers ass. Yeah, yeah. I told y'all. Yeah. It's a lot more Look y'all It get more deeper than this This is what I was trying to tell y'all Now it's on y'all If you really want to know what happened to that girl Watch this Read Read the Optos report Cause it's two of them The one Cougar Metazam did And the private Optos Is what uh, Kanika Mama got You see what I'm saying Read it, get the time of the deal, and you solve the case. Because it's going to show you the murderers on the camera. It's going to show you the incident that went down. And that's the same incident that King Rob always show at the back door. Because y'all want to know how she got dirt outside. Because everybody was like, damn, she had to be outside because this dirt, you know what I'm saying, came from outside. Everybody agreed to that. Because that's the truth, because there's dirt outside. But look what time they said she was locked in the freezer for 21 hours. And look what King Ryan showed you on the footage. That showed you how she got in the freezer. That showed you how she got in the freezer. Man, look. I just want to make a quick laugh, y'all, to open y'all heads up a little bit. You see what I'm saying? Because now we talk about the the, the pill to permeate. You heard him laughing while the girl speaking, sp spitting at the drink. He laughing. He already know what's going on. He the only old motherfucker in there with counsel. He the only motherfucker you jump in this car, you will find all kind of prescription pill. Man, what's this? Yeah, this my uh, you know what I'm saying, my seizure medication. And yeah, this is my blood pressure medication. Yeah, this is my A, B, C, D, E, F, G. My pill bottles right here. This is why I keep all my shit at right here. I got my insulin right here. Cause I gotta take this drug here about five o'clock in the morning. Then I gotta get up and take all my ABCs, you know, around about 12 in the afternoon. And I can't eat no meat, so I got to, uh, you know, eat me some little sandwiches through the day and shit. Because some of my medication, I got to keep an empty stomach. 
Y'all see what I'm saying? Hey, y'all! Now go back to the paramate. Cause the paramate tree seizure, drug, uh, drug, uh, and detox addition, all that shit. Man, I'm just keeping it 100, y'all. Thumb me up. Shut it last. Get everybody in this motherfucker. I'm telling y'all what's going on. Yeah, somebody bought me around the bruise, goddamn it. You know what I'm talking about? Somebody bought me around the bruise. I got the cash out pin to the top. You know what I'm talking about? Man. Woo wee, man. Y'all see how hard I got to just to dig in this motherfucker? Shit. And then when you get to telling the truth, they got to make content like this. Oh, shit. Look, look. Here you go, y'all. I watched it. One of my family members who been like rocking with him and shit. A lot of been just watching him and shit, doing this shit too. Man, I don't want to hear this shit. Man, I ain't even play this sucker shit. This sucker don't know what to do. He bipolar. One minute he the boss of YouTube, and the next minute this nigga got goddamn it pain run deep. Which one it is, sucker? I know where that Tapura may come from. Yeah. Yeah, we know these sucker hair ruggers, Jack. We know these suckers have regular. Cause they knew they couldn't get Kanika do cocaine. They knew that. They knew they couldn't get Kanika to take no kind of ecstasy drug. They knew that. They knew the girl didn't even want to drink. You see what I'm saying? They knew the girl wasn't doing no kind of drugs and nothing at the table of the party, but somebody had to talk to her to her in that one cup of drink. That one cup of drink. That one cup of drink, Jack. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but when I see Kanika Jenkins picture, man, man, that girl was a beautiful angel, man. She ain't mess with nobody. She ain't did nothing to nobody for her to even to get that type of treatment, man. And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and they did that girl like that. I'm talking about they did that girl like that, that she was just out just doing people bad. They had to make a story up on Kanika and said she was a set up girl. Come on, y'all. Man, this should be killing me. But uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. They ain't finna get away with it. Cause now they said it out their own mouth. If this girl want to prescribe this drug, how I get in there? You got the autopsy. Well, did she take it orally or was she was forced to drug? You see what I'm saying? And who was out at that party? And you can subpoena they health records. If I were Gregor McFire, me Teresa lawyer, I would subpoena all these sucker health records and see who would prescribe to Perimate. Because the only motherfucker that would have that drug in his possession is a sick motherfucker. Oh, it's on paperwork. And watch how much tea is finna break down. 
Now this big fags. And it's right in y'all face. And the same motherfucker that got something to do with it, the same motherfucker got hell problem. So they let you know if a motherfucker goddamn it putting Bill Cosby and female drink and making live talking about how they beating up females in the freezers and shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Payao. But check this out. I don't respect nobody they thumb the ops up or what they got to say. I work too hard to trying to give y'all the truth. How y'all think Che gonna be feeling? I'm like, yeah, let me tell you for what really happened. You know, this ain't no opinions. These ain't no uh my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? These ain't no what I'm speculating on. These is all fact. Bust the paperwork wide open. Crush the whole case. I crushed the whole case so bad, everybody took videos down. And you want to ask, why they taking their videos down, Trey Gang? This is what I just told you. Why you think they'll take videos down? If I could pinpoint a motherfucking hair rigger that's on the pyramid, then the police covered it up with the police scanner, proving they was at the goddamn back dock, staging at the motherfucker. Then they need a, 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 a goddamn it, a escort for the ambulance to go to the hospital. Timeline. You add all this shit, what I said, and, and, and add all that up, start from the beginning. You, you, you should understand this shit. Man, man, somebody, man, you, man, somebody, reach out and hit that share button. Somebody reach out and hit the thumbs buttons up, Jack. See what I'm saying? And, 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 and then, and every time when I go live, when I get to spilling tea about a certain individual, they get murdered. They die. They get shot up and shit. See, I predict the killer getting shot. I predict the... T.Y. little got shot. I predicted all that shit for that shit even happened. I got a Facebook group and show y'all the posters and everything with the time on these motherfuckers. Cause I knew, I said, if I, I said, if I spill tea, man, if I, if I spill tea, it's tea to y'all, but this shit get other motherfuckers hurt. So if I'm spilling tea on one motherfucker and this thing, you know, um, uh, the next motherfucker be like, yeah, I knew he did that shit. I never looked at that. I started watching YouTube and now I see why that nigga was lying and all and now he busting my, now I know the truth. And they go gun the nigga down. Y'all don't know what these shooting is about. Mysteriously, all the niggas that was in the hallway got killed. And then check this out. Don't y'all know it was three T.Y. that was at the party. T.Y. Sounder, T.Y. Rolling, and Little T.Y. It was three T.Y.'s at the party. Man, you just said a cold verse in the chat. 
of what the Bible say, how deadly the tongue is. This is this a real, check this out. This is a real demonstration of that. When I spoke in my tongue, I can show you what I'm talking about and expose some thing. But you got other people that can talk about something and don't show you shit. But a good fucking ass story. Just talking, talking, talking. That's a good example of the Bible. How can you give me a story and you can't show me not one thing? What is you proving? It sound good. You know what I'm saying? It sound amazing. I wanted to believe this shit, but I need to see some kind of proof. And look, I can go to the police report, don't even show you footage. But I can go to the police report and show y'all the police report. And, 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 and goddamn it, if you ain't never seen the footage, you can see to see what was going on on the footage at 2 30 song. Man, look, I get my nephew, my nephew don't know nothing about the Kanika Jenkins case. Man, he 11 years old. He found out it through it about me. Cause he came over here and I watched the video. He like, man, what you watching, huh? I said, man, uh, cause he, cause it, he, he, he see me watching the surveillance footage. That wasn't made an ask. Cause he was like, damn, what you watching? I'm like, I'm watching security footage. And he was like, uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He was like, what's going on on the joint? I, so I told her, I said, man, look, it's a girl. You know what I'm saying? She was set up by a friend and she ended up dead and somebody put her in the freezer. And I'm trying to find out who put her in there. He was like, put her in the freezer? They mess him up. He like, put her in the freezer. He was like, they do that? I'm like, man, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause he 11 years old. He don't know nothing about friends. You know what I'm talking about? He don't know nothing about you know, and somehow how my friends set you up and shit. But either way it go, I watching the footage. So I was like, uh, I said, let me show you this right quick. I said, uh, I show him getting off on the elevator. When I show her, when I show her getting off on the elevator, first thing he said, man, there's something wrong with her. And, and uh, I know she ain't drunk, you know, because he know how, you know what I'm saying, a, a drunk person act, right? He was like, yeah, it's something wrong with her. I said, yeah, they drugged her, you know what I'm saying? And I said, yeah, she getting off on the elevator. So when I showed him getting out, uh, her getting off on the elevator, I switched to the other camera and showed him how she popped up at the ramp. And I said, uh, look. When I clicked the button, he was like, ooh, she just popped up at the ramp. I said, why you think she popped up at the ramp then? You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I don't know. He was thinking. He was like, I said, let me show you again. Man, that man figured it out when I told him. I said, watch it again. He watched the footage of her getting up on the elevator. And then it showed on the next camera, she popping up at the ramp. The first thing he said why they didn't show her getting off on the elevator from this camera? 11 year old. Cause he said, why would they show, why they didn't show her getting off on the elevator from this camera and she just popped up at the ump, at the ramp. I said, somebody had to cut that part out. And he was like, ah. Oh. He was like, if they cut that part out, um, that means they were right there. I said, yeah. He was like, something happened right. I was like, yeah, something happened right here. And he 11 years old. And then when they hit me, I man, I had to go back to my videos and read some of my comments and be like, wait a minute. Now, I got 11 year old voucher for this, and he don't know nothing about none of this shit. 
If he peeped that, I know I know the whole world should peep this shit now. And then look, this is what him made him say, oh. When I showed him the security guy running, I said, look, if they show her getting off on the elevator at 224, right? And then you go to this camera and you see the security popping up, you know what I'm saying, on this camera running at the same time frame, right? And he was like, yeah, I got it. And I was like, okay. So when you say they cut the pod out, something must have happened. What you think happened if you got the security running right in this time frame? And he was like, oh. And the first thing he said, so he must be going down there running there to go get her then. I said, man, this man who got a thinking ability like, man, you know what I'm saying? So they let me know that I wasn't even tripping. They let me know all top. I knew I wasn't tripping. If you still believe in shadow men, that because you want to believe that. That because you want to believe that. You know what I'm talking about. But it's the truth, though. Because check this out. If it weren't for them other YouTube to speed that narrative about Shadow Men, what would y'all mind think would be it right now about the Kanika Jenkins case? If they never said about the hand, the foot, and Shadow Men, and the Aisha Fowler twins, and all this shit, what would be your thinking frame then if they didn't tell you that? I want to know what would your mind frame be? You know what I'm saying? How would you, because I remember in the beginning when they were showing Kaniga getting off on the elevator, everybody wanted to know what time it was. Everybody wanted to know who, how she was in the hallway. Because in the beginning, everybody, we knew the story from the beginning. Who level, who was out in the hallway when y'all left about the elevators? You see what I'm saying? That was what we were arguing about in the beginning. Who left in the hallway? You got Snapchat video, come text message, time out. They were walking on different flows and shit. Then look, I just showed y'all one YouTuber that broke it down it's about the third girl in the hallway. About the third girl in the hallway. You see what I'm saying? And, and do y'all know what the cold part about it? If I know this, that means the detectives knew this from day one. All they really need for somebody to expose it and make these people get on their fucking job. Get on their fucking job. And get the right now these motherfucking, these goddamn it, uh, search warrants out. They ain't just finna sit on they desk be like, yeah, let's go on and crack the case wide open. No, it don't work like that. You need a motherfucker to expose them to just to get some answers. <clears throat> oh, look, y'all just don't know how deep this T run. Y'all got to keep this in mind. Y'all listen to a nigga that watched the whole footage. I ain't just watch no one camera. Bumping in the hallways and shit. I watched that motherfucker from the 8 all the way to the 10. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm telling y'all what's going on, man. Y'all better open y'all minds and stop entertaining on that girl name. If you want to listen to all of them stories and shit, you see what I'm saying? When you listen to them, them niggas, just think about your daughter when they talking about 
Just think about your family, you know what I'm saying, when they talking about this shit. Like they said, they putting bitches in freezers. Go thumb this shit up. We putting Bill Cosby and bitches drinks. Go thumb this shit up. Trolling. Telling you what he saw when Kanika took that drink. Man, y'all on, man. They'll be pissing me out so bad. And they thunder booties, y'all. This some soft niggas. Ain't nothing hard about them. Ain't even nothing hard about these niggas, y'all. And check this out. All these niggas that was at the, uh, uh, like, uh, King Rob, he can't even just really hang out in Chicago. Straight Drop can't really hang out in Chicago. They can't. Man, Lou, what you mean, what about the pool? I done broke the pool down so many times. You should know what happened at the pool. Man, if you got to ask me what happened at the pool, that means where was you at when I was explaining the pool three, four lives ago? How many lies I did about the pool? I mean, everything that people that jump in my chat, it might be some of y'all that you probably just joining in, don't know what's going on. You know, is there any question that you got to ask me? I broke it all the way down. Coming from the five Nisha twin, the body doubles, the stabbings, and the shadow men's, and the, you know, it's come out. The blurry images, the hands in the foot, the spirit readings, and the God damn it. I done killed all these suckers in the dirt. You still asking me what about the pool? Why you, you need to ask the other you two? Why you don't do no more psychic reads about this? And where your uh your spirit rise at? Why you don't clink them just together no more? You know what I'm talking about? And then you got a spirit body now. And then, look, y'all. I got full of the kush. I said, let me go to Candy Star video right quick. And let me look at that speaker box again. Because I was interested in getting me my spirit box. Because I was looking at some up on Amazon. So when I looked up at her page and I looked at that spirit box, I said, wait a minute, Jack. This ain't no goddamn spirit box. This a goddamn it, uh, a speaker that built for concerts and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Them one of them times you could hook your goddamn uh, guitar up and you know what I'm talking about and uh, da 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 You know what I'm saying? One of them times because you, you could up the RPM, the amp up, all that old shit. You know what I'm saying? Distort it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, wait a minute, this bitch call it the spirit box. Go back to the she, she, now she, she playing herself again. Cause when you go back and look at that video, look at the spirit box. You still got to plug it in your phone on the same app. Man, I can't, I can't take no more. You know, I'm about to uh hit that big email and say, uh yeah, I wanna uh you join my panel and shit, cause I need you to do some some readings for me. Look at the speaker box, y'all, and check this out. If you look at that speaker box. That speaker was made even before apps came out, even before the goddamn social media was big. They was using that shit when Prince and them was still doing concerts and, and Billy Jean and shit. You see what I'm saying? That speaker old than a motherfucker. That's some old studio shit. 
Then you trying to, you know what I'm saying? Then you trying to decorate that motherfucker with little pretty little flowers and leaves around that motherfucker. And then when you ask these four questions, these people, I'm like, man, look, I can't, I, I, I need to call, uh, man. I'm just keeping it 100, y'all. I told y'all, look, I broke this shit up when I told y'all about how she blow in the phone and pre-record it. She don't do that no more, do it. <laughs> I said, ooh, y'all, she blowing in the phone and she talking about she talking to little Snoop Snoop right now, you know what I'm talking about? She stopped this shit. Now she was like, damn, Trey Gang busting my ass over and over. You know what I'm saying? Let me uh switch this shit up. Then she went to go bought a whole pack of uh terror car off the Uno website. Now, cause I seen the bottom of the car, they said he was sponsored by Uno. I'm like, this bitch. Damn it. All right. So I had to bust her ass up on them cars. So now she was like, well, fuck, Trey Gang got me. Now look. Now she had to bring out that old lab speaker that she had in the closet and shit. Be like, let me plug this bitch up, you know what I'm talking about? Ooh, that gonna go good, you know what I'm talking about? Boy, she got that app rolling and shit. Yeah, I can't blow in the phone no more. Because you don't hear this shit no more. You don't hear that no more. You just hear a lot of Christian creepy like, what happened? Hey, down. No frequency at all no more. We in the kitchen. Where you say you was at? Yeah, we walking around now. You see what I'm saying? You don't hear this shit no more. <laughs> Can nigga, where are you, honey? Vinny. Vinny, we gonna be here for a minute. Can you hear us, honey? You see what I'm saying? None of that shit no more. Man, y'all got to come out this shit, Jack. Look what she got to do now. Then you got to have other YouTubers deleting their videos. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't trying to get started, y'all, because I'm really finna get pissed off. Y'all know how I turn up, Jack. But, uh, yeah, I'm sick of this shit. She had to switch the whole game up. She knew to take that video down when she went in there and bought them spirit rods. Now, check this out, y'all. It's a candy. It's going to be a candy star in here on the low low. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to look, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, that bitch got me, Trey Gang. Shit. I feel bad in the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say nothing. You see what I'm saying? But you remember them spirit rods. The bitch tried to clink them motherfuckers together. Tink, tink. Can nigga hurry? That's a yes or a no. Tink, tink. I said, what? Is this bitch talking about these payout sticks? Oh, no. I'm finna get on this whole ass. Because she should have never brought them payout sticks in the business. So she had to take that video down. Because she already know I was going to say that. And screen record that motherfucker. And, uh, yeah, do a two-hour Netflix special on this bitch. You see what I'm saying, y'all? Yeah, do a Netflix on the bitch. Yeah, two-hour special, Jack. Ting, ting. You know what I'm talking about? Vinny, honey, can you uh tell us where you at right now? Uh, We at, uh, you know what I'm talking about, uh, White Captain. Ting, ting. <laughs> Sick of these motherfucking YouTubers, man. Getting over and shit. They getting over on y'all now. Check this out, man. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? I ain't look. I know some of y'all might be in the psychic ring. I know some of y'all will. But I ain't gonna destroy your dream because you know where, you know what I'm saying? I don't mean to bust these people out. Now, if you want some psychic read, 
Uh, yeah, he, uh, you know, talking about that Gmail right quick and let me know, uh, what you want to read now, and I'm gonna do this shit live, goddammit. I'm gonna talk to anybody you want to talk to. <laughs> shit. Shit, goddammit. Who you want to talk to? Let's call him up, Jack, you know what I'm talking about. 1-800-A-B-C-D-E-F-G Call it now <laughs> This call is free for four minutes And after them four free minutes And we'll knock 50 cents off that dollar And we'll give you service for 50 cents a minute Payow, Jack You see what I'm talking about? Cause I can't wait to talk to these motherfuckers up there. Yeah, how y'all doing up there? You know what I'm talking about? I don't mean to be disturbing y'all, but who I'm talking to, you know what I'm talking about? This Vinny! Oh, this Vinny, you know, did you know Candy Star don't know? We don't know her, you know what I'm talking about? Well, you don't know the bitch, you know, I thought she said, cause she was talking about y'all be talking about, you know what I'm talking about? Hands and foots and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. She she got you on recording and shit. You see a video? So I play the video and shit. And she all on that mother. Hey, bitch! And this time, you know, she talking about, Vinny, can you tell us, honey, about the murder scene? And, and Vinny be like, man, look, I want that no murder scene. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I died from a uh, Thunder Booty Council. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, man, I'm 98 years old, man. You know what I'm talking about? Shit, I, you see what I'm saying? She must got the wrong Vinny. He telling me they photoshopped him down. You know what I'm talking about? I said, what? She showed me the card and said, yeah, you had your wings and shit. She said, you had wings and shit. Yeah. Yeah, she, that, look, she shuffled them motherfuckers up. I split the deck, goddammit, you know? <laughs> I said, shuffle them motherfuckers up, boo. You know, she shuffled them motherfuckers. I said, nah, bitch, don't give me no read right now. I got to cut the car. Why they don't never let y'all never cut the car? That's cheating, ain't it? You don't play spades without cutting the deck, right? See what I'm saying, y'all? That's a big scam. If you gonna give me a, a, a goddamn read, at least let me cut the deck. <laughs> Shit, at least let me, uh, shit, thump the motherfucker, you know what I'm talking about, for good luck, you know, you is finna tell me about this spirit, ain't it, you know what I'm talking about, damn, I don't cut the deck at all, I don't want to play then, cause you cheating, you can't come in my house, talking about some, yeah, let me suffer the cards, and talking about nobody can't cut the deck. You got to ask me, you know what I'm saying? If I don't want to cut the deck, I ain't just going to cut the deck. You know what I'm saying? But don't be trying to tell me, you know what I'm talking about. Damn. But look, y'all. I'm sick of that shit. Now, I just exposed some real tea to y'all on this line, man. Y'all hit that share button. You know what I'm talking about? Get the views up on this junk so some, some people can get this message, man. If you're new... Man, look, you, you might need to just subscribe to this nigga. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't lying, man. You know, because I be spilling some tea. Everybody know I got some tea. And I'm capable of finding a sucker up. So if you got anybody that y'all know that, you know what I'm saying, you want to put on blad right quick, I'll do it. I'll fight them suckers up. You know what I'm talking about? Be like, yeah, Trey got. And I met a nigga. He said he was a uh, boss and shit, and, and and he a dope boy. But he be coming over here rolling that little skimpy ass weed up. I like what? Be like, yeah. And I'm like, damn, he ain't rolled the whole gram in the Kush. I'm like, no, nah, that nigga done rolled me a uh point two two three. Goddamn it, what? That's a junk. That's penitentiary shit. Cause you know you go to jail and get them kind of junks for uh. <laughs> This nigga must get out. Yeah, he said he did about uh five years and shit. You know, oh yeah, that's why he a cheap ass nigga. You know what I'm talking about? And he eating all your noodles up too, ain't? Yeah, he fucking all my kid noodles up. See what I'm saying? Real talk, y'all. Y'all better stop filing for these suckers. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, pay y'all. I'm put these suckers on blast, y'all. Look, y'all, it been fun. You know what I'm saying? I got to run. 
Man, I hope y'all get some of this hot tea and go on and spill this shit all in the YouTube screen. Paint this shit on the walls and shit. You know what I'm saying? Paint that payout unit you know, on the payout, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, go in all them Facebook groups, you know what I'm talking about? Just put that payow in the in the chat in that motherfucker, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, represent this gang, goddamn it. We like bloods and crips in this motherfucker. Man, them suck gonna be mad and shit. You know Man, them fuck gonna be mad and motherfucker. Then the FBI got to get involved then, because they be like, damn, they got a gang now. They got a gang now, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> We got to shut him up, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm be on up, you know what I'm talking about? It, look, y'all. Yeah. Hold on. I just noticed this. I know King Raw Fool and News ain't talking about my boy Pook and Shyster. Oh, he got to keep that name out of his mouth. Oh, he got to keep Pook and Shyster name out of his mouth. Yeah, we affiliates, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we got to uh get that out of there right now, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, he talking about the wrong people right now. You did want to talk about? He talking about the wrong gang right now. Oh, man. Wait, wait till I tell, wait, wait till I got to call the homeboys on this shit. What? He got Pussy the shiny name in their mouth? Man, I got to call, I got to write this shit up. <laughs> I got to write this shit up. You know what I'm talking about? If you look, if you GD, you know what that means. You know what I'm saying? Look, folk, I got to write this shit up, folk, on the 215-19, folk. You know what I'm talking about? Well, folk, what you mean? You got to, I got to send this up to the uh the board of recognition and shit. Yeah, they got chairman boys, all this shit in the game, in the GD, real talk. Chief of security, all this shit. They got all this shit. 215-19 folk. TP folk on there, folk. You know, they go, look, I'm talking too much, so they're gonna tell me. TP folk, you know what I'm saying? That's a 1919 folk on the boss folk. <laughs> yeah, look, them guys, if it's some guys in the chat, they're gonna be like, yeah, Trey guy ain't know what's going on. You know what I'm talking about? How long, bro? Don't be you, you talking too much. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's a 1919 folk. You in subordination, folk. You in subordination. I got to write this up and send it to the coordinator. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> then when you send the goddamn uh, kite back in there, they got to be like, uh, yeah, throw a meeting and shit. Be like, yeah, folk got a line. Folk in subordination. Folk need a pumpkin here. Yeah, bring folk in. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and then folk come in that motherfucker, you know, that folk get it punk in here. <laughs> Man, I'm going to tell you something. I fuck with the gangsters, you know, it's in the white lords, you know, it's in the Chris and the blood, the MS-13, you know what I'm talking about? I fuck with all the Latin kings and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Man, they know what's up with Trey Gang. Don't try that sit tripping shit with me because I'm finna, you know what I'm talking about? My appetite be when it come to beef. That's all on the menu is beef, nigga. You niggas, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Shit. Look at Pookie Shice, though. You know what I'm saying? That's a killer, y'all. He a killer, y'all. Pookie Shice with the shit. That my nigga. I fuck with Pookie Shikes, you know what I'm talking about? I fuck with Pookie, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with Pookie Shikes, you know what I'm talking about? But y'all ain't met Lil Snoo Snoo yet. I'm telling y'all, Snoo Snoo and the Pookies, we taking over this motherfucker, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 1017 all day long, Jack. Yeah, I got it in my playlist right now, you know what I'm saying? That's why I be trying to get out the lab with y'all so quick so I can go get me some of this uh, Pookie Shikes in the playlist, you know what I'm talking about? Man. Yeah. And play some of this shit from Sunday to the Monday. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, them little, them little, them, them little guys, they love them little sound to the Sunday to the Monday. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> they be like, Trey Gang, you so cool and shit. You know what I'm I got all this shit in the play, little baby, all this shit. They be car hopping like a motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? 
I don't need put nothing in the bitch drink. You know what I'm saying? I just cut that playlist on. You know what I'm saying? Stop at Pump 4. Get some Kush wraps. You know what I'm talking about? And some alcohol beverages. We turned up. <laughs> yeah, let me call Lil Pooh Shice and shit. i call Gucci Man and them. Tell him, uh, yeah, this sucker nigga named King Rob up there, man. Got Pooh Shice name in his mouth. He must just don't know what's going on since he talking too much. So we need to, uh, matter of fact, Gucci Man, why don't you just go and put me in the booth and, and give me one of them uh, trap beats and let Trey Gang go on that job right quick. You know what I'm talking about? Go ahead, Trey Gang. Do your thing, man. No, because last time I know what we know what I'm talking about. Last time, you try to give me a big ass chain and shit. I know that move, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Don't give me no chain, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? I want my shit in a suitcase. You know what I'm talking about? I better see Benjamin, uh, Jefferson, is you know what I'm talking about? And some, and, and some more motherfuckers on that. You know what I'm talking about? I don't want no big ass chain. I buy that when you give me, uh, Jefferson, Washington, them. You know what I'm talking about? We'll figure that shit out later on. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if I don't like chain? What well, you ain't know if I wear a chain or not? You know what I'm saying? Gucci, you play too much. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, then I smash off in my Lambo. <laughs> <laughs> they be like, Trey, you want to get in the video now, nah, nigga? I don't show my face. <laughs> no, nigga, I ain't showing my motherfucking face, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'd be all in the back of that motherfucker with my 1017 chain on. Bridge squad, bitch! <laughs> with my two heaters on me, you know what I'm talking about? I'ma had a hardest look in that motherfucker. If you throwing a video shoot, you got to be the hardest motherfucking looking motherfucker in the video to get that little clout going. You know what I'm talking about? I'm be on that motherfucking nigga mug so hard, nigga. I'ma have cramps all in my face. <laughs> they be like, damn, this nigga must be eating pebbles before he shot this video. You know what I'm talking about? Nigga, I'ma have a mug so mean on that motherfucker, nigga. With the side look on that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, they're like, damn, damn, that nigga mean mugging the shit out the camera, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Trey Gang got cramps in the face. Be like, hold on, look, Trey Gang cramping up. Look at it, watch it, look, he cramping up. I'm on that motherfucker, so booty face on that motherfucker. <laughs> get them niggas the booty face. Look, you gotta look. It be like, cut. Trey Gang, give me more booty expression. Give me more booty expression face. I'm on that motherfucker, real cramping on that. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's what these niggas be doing on their videos. Just look at a video, y'all. Go look at some rap videos right now. And just pay attention to the video. Don't listen to the lyrics or nothing. Just pay attention to all the niggas in the back. Everybody got the booty face. So you got to outdo your opponent on the side of you. You know what I'm talking about? You just can't let him outshine you. He looking hard in the motherfucker. You can't be smiling and cheesing on that motherfucker. Why he got his, this is the time when you showing the gun. So this the gun scene. So everybody got to show they look real. You show they look cramps in the face and shit. <laughs> and then they gonna slow motion, make sure you see, they gonna pick the hardest one that look the most gangster. You know what I'm talking about? Little Snoop Snoop. Man, I gotta go talk to Cudden and tell man King Rod talking about Puka Shiesty. We gotta jump him now, you know what I'm talking about? We gotta get us some King Rob now. I'm gonna go talk to that nigga doctor. I'm gonna go up to uh to the goddamn clinic, be like, where's Doc and Frankenstein there? And showing King Rob photoshops and we gonna make a deal. Be like, yeah, you got all these nigga here reported, right? I'm like, yeah. And I know this nigga at least, you know what I'm saying, two more months before he kicked the bucket. What y'all gonna do with that liver, though? Because I got some plans for that, John. <laughs> I 
I know somebody that want to get them jobs. You know, so I got a young nigga. He in college, and he trying to become a, uh, a a registered nurse and shit. And so they told him he got to study some uh, kidneys. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, get that nigga head. We're going to make a skid. I'm being in the parking lot waiting on him to come in and shit. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to get my young nigga on. I'm like, look, nigga, look, check this out, man. You, they gave you some homework right there. Like, yeah, I need a fucking kidney. Shit, I know where I can get a kidney from. We got to go to uh, Minneapolis to go get it, though. <laughs> yeah, we got to stage a car wreck. You know what I'm <laughs> Yeah, this nigga like to drive a lot, so this nigga stay down on, uh, you know what I'm saying, 59th and Vernon and shit, so yeah, we gonna catch him down the street, so we gotta stage a, uh, <laughs> pull out in front of that nigga, you know what I'm saying, yeah, we gotta pull out in front of that nigga, make that nigga hit a nigga, boom! My job out the car, man, what the fuck, man, what the fuck, man, you know what I'm talking about? Running to the car, man, you all right, you all right? Jumped in the car and shit, tasing the shit out of his ass. Zzz, zzz. <laughs> zzz, zzz. Push his ass in the patent and seat and pull off. You little Snoop Snoop, follow me, Snoop Snoop. Yeah, then we going back to Mississippi in the barn and shit in Mississippi, right? Because, you know, you got to go to Mississippi in the barn and shit. Because I know some people down there in Mississippi, they, we got all kind of knives and butcher and axe and shit. You know what I'm saying? They cut human flesh. <laughs> And the power we don't need, we frying them motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, give me them foots over there. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, boil that nigga foots up. You know what I'm talking about? That nigga has some athletic feet, ain't it, man? We got to boil these motherfuckers for at least a day or two before we even dress this motherfucker up with some... With some uh season, banana leaves, get you some uh, you know what I'm saying, some paprika, gotta get you some onions, bell pepper, some uh olive oil, you know what I'm saying? And then you know what I'm saying, I, I pour a little s- splash of hen in mine, you know what I'm saying, saute my meat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the whole house smell like Air Force Ones, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we're like, damn, damn, what that is? That, that the Air Force Ones. <laughs> yeah, give me some of the Air Force Ones out there, motherfucker, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, give me the Air Force Ones Deluxe, please. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. It been fun, man. I got to run, man. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody, man, that tuned in and shared the button and hit your boy with the thumbs up. I appreciate everybody hit the cash out, man. You know what I'm saying? And fuck with your boy. You did one time out. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, I told y'all the Air Force Ones. You know what I'm talking about? Man. Yeah, man. Until then, I'm finna call Big Homie and them, tell them King Rod talking about Pookie Shison and see do he get the okay for this shit, you know what I'm talking about? Because he need to keep certain niggas out of this, this motherfucking mouth, you know what I'm talking about? For it be trouble, trouble, you know what I'm talking about? Because we got some shit that really give you some body blows, you know what I'm talking about? Body blow, body blow, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Are y'all heard of the birds? Them ain't no normal birds. Them jungle birds, y'all. Them motherfuckers, look. If you see them birds that tweak, you might think it like a little uh, cardinal or a blue jay. No. Hell no. Ain't nothing but vultures and buzzers around this motherfucker. You see what I'm talking about? It sound good because they already ate today. You see what I'm talking about? Cars been hitting squirrels all day long, running in the dirt and shit. They done ate enough meat for the day. That's why they singing. Man, I look at my tree right now. They got a whole cat on that motherfucker. I said, damn, how he get the cat all the way up there? You know what I'm talking about? This shit was like some real uh, National Geographic. 
Nigga, I'm standing outside smoking cigarettes. Nigga, I see a big ass bird with a goddamn it Dalmatian dog across the sky and, 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 and took it to the oak tree. <laughs> yeah, he took it to the oak tree and shit. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I said, damn, I ain't never seen that before. You know what I'm saying? They were fighting this shit. Kicking and shit, you know what I'm talking about? All look, they shaking the bushes like a motherfucker. I'm full of the kush, you know. I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then I had to call uh the dog pound, talking about some, yeah, man. Can you come in there uh, get this Dalmatian up here? Where he at? He in the tree. <laughs> he in the bird nest. <laughs> Yeah. Look, you see feathers everywhere and shit. It's been a real fight scene. You got fur, feathers on the scene and shit, blood spatters over here. I said, damn, this shit getting worse. <laughs> Man, I had to call somebody. Hey, can you please send somebody right here right now? <laughs> Real talk, y'all. Then they, I was like, shit, you know, they had to shoot the bird and shit. You know, I was like, damn, they had to shoot the bird because the bird didn't want to stop. <laughs> I don't know what he was on, but he was still tying his ass up. They were like, shit, we got to shoot this nigga, you know what I'm talking about? So they popped his ass, you know what I'm talking about? I was like, damn, what y'all going to do with the meat? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm like, shit, y'all can just let me get the meat, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't had no motherfucking bird in a minute, Jack. <laughs> they like, yeah, we got to pronounce it dead, and we got to send a corn out here just to make sure, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They had to send the, the, the corn out here and make sure that motherfucker really did, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Then I had to get paperwork. I had to go. I had to go to see the hall. Just be like, damn, damn. You know what I'm saying? They said I need a permit to fry this motherfucker. <laughs> and then they make me split the meat. Talking about some, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, proper procedures. You know what I'm saying? We need to take samples of the meat, and they're gonna try to take the best part of my shit. Like, mom, like, wait a minute, Jack. But y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, man, they know what I'm talking about. They're going to try to get me the hands and the foot. I'm like, damn, where the breasts and the thighs at? That's what I want. <laughs> That's where all the meat is. They're going to try to get me the foots and shit. Talking about, yeah, you get you these foots and hang these on the wall. It bring you good luck. I'm like, man, fuck the good luck. Nigga, I'm trying to you season this meat up. Shit, Memorial Day done came up, goddamn. I'm trying to, you know, throw something special on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> man, who all in here, man? Damn, it's still 400 folks in here, and I'm just talking shit. Man, y'all. Be... <laughs> yeah, man, I'm sick of this shit, man. You know what I'm talking about? I done got hungry right now, goddammit, thinking about that motherfucking, uh, that liver. Because we need to get that liver, y'all. We need to get some of that King Rob liver. I'm going to make a cooking channel. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm going to show you how to fry that motherfucker, all the proceeds and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Because you can't cook it in no house. You got to go to the funeral home and ask them folks, can I bury your uh, crematory system? <laughs> Says you gotta take that motherfucker to the funeral home, cause you know what I'm talking about. They got real fire in that motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, let me up. You know what I'm talking about? Are you talking about uh now? Man, you never know. How you gonna say, ugh, you ain't never tasted before? I'm gonna tell you what it tastes like. Man, that nigga tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that 
That nigga taste like a spicy buffalo wings. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? That's what that nigga taste like, some spicy buffalo wings. Yeah, give me uh, some of that. Uh... <laughs> See, you don't need nothing but some ranch. <laughs> Get you some little ranch and some little celery and shit and, and dip that nigga in some... It... <coughs> And dip him in some op sauce. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you got to get you some op sauce. Yeah. Yeah, I got a whole bottle of op sauce over here. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, Trey, guys, you got some hot sauce? No, I ain't got no hot sauce. But I got that op sauce, though. You know what I'm saying? Man, what's this? There's a bunch of niggas that I done grind up. <laughs> yeah, I got me some red niggas and some dark skin niggas in this motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the real deal, because they all killers. You know what I'm saying? I call it killer op sauce. <laughs> Now dip this on some of this bird right here. They going to be like, damn, that shit hot, Jack. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. I'm just keeping this shit 100, man, because I'm mad. Y'all like entertainment, so I might well just entertain y'all. You see what I'm saying? Because these suckers don't know how to entertain y'all on that dumb shit. You know what I'm talking about? Making all this shit up. Shit, shit ain't true. I'm talking about, man, look. The shit they have a motherfucker believe in, you can get a check every month. You can actually get a check every month. Don't you look. Go to the health department and say you seen shadow men and flip your phone up. Man, you finna get a $2,000 check every month and they finna prescribe you Percocet, then give you housing and government funding. (laughs) Shit. I might need to go on and up, you know what I'm saying? Sign up for this shit. Yeah, let me hit these bitches with some of that King Rod special shit, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Man, no for look. When you get through telling them folks everything you seen on your phone, man, they gonna have you standing in condos. You can get a car now, you know what I'm talking about? Man, you got income coming in and prescription drugs. You see what I'm saying, man? So you might need to go and investigate in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, uh, they said if I see some shadow men, I get paid every month for this shit. Yeah, that's called paranoid schizophrenic. Oh, yeah, that's what they call it. Yeah, you you got that? You be seeing shadow men? I see a lot of them. Come on in this office right quick and uh, sign her on this sheet right here. Yeah, give me your initials right here. Sign right here. Mm-hmm. And you ain't valid, is it? No, I ain't valid at all. You ain't thinking about killing nobody else, is it? No, okay, yeah, you been approved. <laughs> <laughs> Before you get that check, you got to go in the house. You got to go to the crazy house. Yeah, yeah, we got you a little room already booked up. You know what I'm talking about? All the walls filled with pillows. You can't eat with no spoons and forks and shit. Then they got you in handcuffs and tied behind your back. <laughs> they got eight, nine cameras zoomed in on you. How you going to pee now, you know what I'm saying, and use the bathroom? And then when you go take a shower, you got to be escorted by the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the Debo team. <laughs> Debo coming that motherfucker, you know, to my yeah, it's time for your sponge bath. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you like, fuck this shit. I can't take it no more. You know, I, man, I don't want this shit. I don't sign up for this shit. No. You said when you sign her, no matter what, if you want to refuse, you can't refuse. <laughs> now you are, you a part of us now. But yeah, y'all, y'all go fat these suckers up. 
You know, let them suckers know, man. Like, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a new sheriff on the town, man. Trey Gang that took over, he done spoiled your health records now. Yeah, we know you in the fourth stage of council, nigga, and you about to kick the bucket. You know what I'm talking about? It's over with for you. Look, y'all, he even predicted his own death. Look, I watched it. I synced it. I'm mastering it the game. You see what I'm saying? Damn. Damn, King Rob. The doctor told me, I told that nigga, I said, yeah, uh, you know what I'm talking about. We don't need no hers, goddammit. it. We finna pull that nigga ass on a trailer. <laughs> yeah, we finna escort him down to John John Lawn Service. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, put that nigga right there by uh, you know what I'm saying, by next to the weed eaters and shit. <laughs> yeah, we got JJ Lawn Service coming up. Yeah, we gotta cut the grass. You know what I'm talking about? Soon we get to cut the grass, you know what I'm saying? And, and build the flower bed up, then we could dig a hole and bury this sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everybody at the front home waiting on the hearse and shit, like, damn, what the hearse is? You know what I'm saying? You got JJ lawn service pulling up and shit. They got all kind of up, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, pull him up here, Jack. You know what I'm talking about. Man, where my motherfucking cush at? Damn, mm. I left my shit in the house, man. I got to go in there and get my motherfucking drug, man. Oh, man. Yeah, hey, y'all. My bad, y'all. Yeah, that's why he always said, I'm going to get surgical. This shit finna get surgical. Slice. Slice game. You see what I'm saying, Mal? He was thinking about that operation. <laughs> Look, when that boy went in that waiting room and shit, waiting on that doctor to fill them lumps in there, that doctor felt that lump like, oh, yeah, we got one. <laughs> We got to call the president. Yeah, Donald Trump, you know, we got uh, a special liver down here. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? They got to get the uh, the militaries and, you know what I'm saying, get a clearance on this shit. Like, yeah, you can fry it up. <laughs> But yeah, appreciate everybody, man, that tuned in with me, man. Did you have a little laugh with me? You know what I'm saying? And got a little knowledge, too, about the Kanika Jenkins case and about that Tapura, mate, and how it all got in the system, man. Because Rob, the only sick motherfucker that's in there with cancer, liver diseases, and all his ABCs. I mean, he the sickest nigga in there. His liver bad, his kidney shot. Ain't no telling what his other organs like, you know what I'm talking about? I don't even know what that nigga lawns like. You know what I'm talking about? They could be heavily damaged. I know they can let me see can I know I'm gonna go to on Facebook and see it. You know what I'm talking about? Saint Jude looking for him. Saint Jude would like shit. We need to find King Rob. That boy got that special kidneys over there. <laughs> Yeah, he going live on the track phone, y'all. Because he don't want the government to check that location because that boy got special kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
he on the track phone. He he living his life like the enemy of the state when Will Smith and shit. And he was like, shit, goddamn it, they tracking us through my phone. You know what I'm saying? That's why he keeps shaking that motherfucker so they want to get a clear shot on. So if they try to take a screenshot, they'll be blurry and shit. You know what I'm talking about? He smiling the motherfucker, y'all. He smile. He know what he be doing. He know what he be doing. But yeah, y'all, I'll be back. 